Let's face it, fruits are not getting the attention they deserve right now because they are filled with a four letter word, sugar. But guess what? Fruits contain powerful ingredients that can help support thyroid function, improve gut health, fight off inflammation, protect your cells, and so much more. If you're a fruit lover, or if you're just thinking about trying fruit because it's been years since you've had any on your keto or carnivore diet, this video is for you. I'm Dr. Childs, let's talk about the best fruits to eat to support your thyroid gland. But first, you should know some basics about how fruits can help your overall health and your thyroid gland. The first is by providing your body with fiber. This means better gut health and better butyrate production. Better gut health also equates to better thyroid function because up to 20% of all T3 is converted inside of your gut. The second, fruits contain special ingredients called flavonoids and polyphenols. These organic compounds provide beneficial effects on inflammation, metabolism, cellular health, cancer, obesity, and heart health. These are also the ingredients that give fruits their characteristic colors. Polyphenols and flavonoids are frequently condensed and concentrated into supplements to harness the power of fruits to treat specific medical conditions. So for instance, quercetin, which is found in grapes and onions, is often used as a supplement to naturally treat seasonal allergies. And this exists for just about every fruit you can think of. Fruits also contain essential vitamins and minerals the same vitamins and minerals that your thyroid needs to function every single day. Some of the best sources of zinc, selenium, and magnesium come from plant foods. And if this wasn't enough, maybe the fact that a diet high in fruits can reduce your risk of heart disease, stroke, cancer, diabetes, and obesity might be. With all this in mind, let's talk about the best fruits for better thyroid health. Number one, we have blueberries. It's hard to pick the best fruit out there, but this one might be it. Blueberries are an amazing source of phytochemicals and phytonutrients. And unlike some of the other fruits that we will talk about, they are a relatively low source of calories, carbohydrates, and they're even low on the glycemic index. The phytochemicals found inside of blueberries include anthocyanins, proanthocyanidins, mericetin, quercetin, resveratrol, and elagic acid. Locking in at just 85 calories per cup, this fruit will provide you with a huge dose of polyphenols and antioxidants. Studies have shown that the phytochemicals found inside of blueberries can help lower the risk of urinary tract infections, protect against cardiovascular disease, help reduce short-term memory loss, provide anti-inflammatory benefits, ease the symptoms of menopause, prevent cancer, improve eye health, and reduce the risk of osteoporosis. From the perspective of your thyroid, daily intake of blueberries provides your thyroid gland with the necessary ingredients that it needs to prevent oxidative damage. This reduces your risk of thyroid gland damage from conditions like Hashimoto's thyroiditis. So in essence, eat more blueberries to protect your thyroid gland. Number two, we have goji berries. Goji berries make the list because they are considered both an adaptogen and a fruit. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know that certain foods have what are called adaptogenic properties, which can help your body tolerate and manage stress. Goji berries happens to be one of those foods. They have been used for thousands of years in Asian countries and in traditional Chinese medicine to treat conditions like fatigue, kidney problems, eye problems, immune problems, liver issues, fertility related problems, and to improve circulation. More recently, research has shown that they do indeed provide beneficial effects on things like inflammation, immune function, eyesight, and liver detoxification. As a thyroid patient, goji berries are of particular interest because their immune boosting properties can help promote better thyroid conversion and protect against the onset of autoimmune disease, which by the way, is the most common cause of all thyroid conditions and their adaptogenic properties can help provide energy and balance cortisol. If you live in the West, it can be hard to find fresh goji berries, so you may have to settle for the dehydrated or dried out version. You have the option to eat them alone or throw them in something like a healthy trail mix. Something worth noting here is that goji berries are considered a nightshade, so they may not be ideal for everyone, especially those who have issues with nightshades. Number three, we have avocado. Believe it or not, avocados are considered a fruit and a very healthy one at that. Avocados are one of the most unique fruits out there because instead of being naturally high in sugar and carbohydrates, they're naturally high in fat. What makes avocados so healthy? A combination of their fiber content, their fat content, and their phytochemical content. 
One half avocado provides you with 4.6 grams of dietary fiber, 0.2 grams of sugar, 345 milligrams of potassium, 19.5 milligrams of magnesium, 60 milligrams of folate, 0.2 milligrams of vitamin B6, 1.3 milligrams of niacin, 1 milligram of pantothenic acid, 0.1 milligrams of riboflavin, 10 milligrams of choline, 57 milligrams of phytosterols, which by the way is the highest amount of phytosterols out of any fruit, and 6.7 grams of monounsaturated fat. That was probably information overload. But what you need to know here is that avocados provide a huge source of vitamins and minerals that the thyroid needs to function every day. For perspective, let's translate this into something more relatable. An analysis of data from NHANES suggests that avocado consumers have higher HDL cholesterol, lower risk of metabolic conditions, and lower weights, lower BMIs, and lower waist circumferences compared to those people who do not consume avocados on a regular basis. For even more perspective, one avocado has a nutrient and phytochemical profile similar to 1.5 ounces of tree nuts. In other words, you should be eating avocados. Aim for about one half to one avocado each and every day. And for those on a low carb diet, avocados are considered low carb friendly. Number four, we have kiwis. Kiwis are probably one of the most underappreciated fruits out there, so let's give kiwis some love. They make the list here because their vitamin content is almost entirely unmatched. Kiwis have two times the vitamin C content of oranges, more fiber, vitamin C, vitamin E, and vitamin K than oranges, apples, bananas, strawberries, and blueberries, the second highest amount of beta carotene and lutein and zeaxanthin, second only to oranges, and a balanced blend of copper and potassium. To make it even better, studies have shown that kiwis can help treat constipation, treat constipation by activating as a natural laxative due to its protease actinidin, which helps digest proteins and can speed up the intestinal tract. Kiwis have also been shown to improve mood, and two kiwis before bed have been shown to improve sleep onset, duration, and sleep quality. They also can support your immune system better than vitamin C supplementation alone. The Achilles heel of kiwis is that about 1-2% to of the population is allergic to them. So if you're one of those unlucky few, then you're going to have to settle for the other fruits we're going to be talking about here. I've included kiwis on the thyroid supporting fruit list here because they provide benefits to constipation and insomnia, both of which are problems that thyroid patients frequently have trouble with. Number five, we have coconuts. This one is a little bit of a stretch because if you really wanted to nitpick, coconuts can technically fit the definition of a fruit, a nut, and a seed all at the same time. But since they are a fruit and they have great health benefits, we are definitely talking about them. Similar to avocados, coconuts are considered a high fat fruit. And compared to avocados, their fat content is primarily saturated fat, whereas avocados contain primarily monounsaturated fats. This will be important in a minute, so hang on to it. Yes, coconuts contain vitamins, minerals, and fiber, but that's not really where they shine. They shine because they contain an ingredient called medium chain triglycerides, or MCT for short. These medium chain triglycerides are rapidly absorbed by the body and can be used by the liver for an immediate source of energy. Somewhat paradoxically, this can actually help you lose weight even though you are consuming more fat and more calories. Several studies have shown that MCT has an anti-obesity effect by influencing postprandial oxygen consumption, energy expenditure, and fat oxidation. The result is a decrease in global adipose tissue, body fat, and whole body subcutaneous fat. This is obviously huge news for thyroid patients because low thyroid states like Hashimoto's and hypothyroidism typically results in weight gain that can be very difficult to treat. And there are many thyroid patients out there who are doing things like diet and exercise and even taking their thyroid medication every single day who are unable to lose weight. So if I can provide you with a potential fruit that can help with this process, I'm definitely going to do it. And for this reason, coconut makes the list. If you want to use coconut for general thyroid health and to help with weight loss, then stick to the flesh of the coconut and not the water found inside of it. Coconut water does contain higher amounts of sugar and all of the fat content which contains the MCT is found inside of the flesh. One potential issue with coconut is its high saturated fat content. Consumption of high amounts of saturated fat may not be ideal for certain people and certain populations, especially those with the ApoE4 allele, which is found in up to 25% of the general population. If you are only consuming a small amount of coconut, then this really isn't a big deal, but I at least want to bring this to your attention. If you know that you have this allele, then keeping your saturated fat content down is probably a good idea. If you love the idea of improving your thyroid with foods, then check out this video next on thyroid superfoods.